Shovels and spades are indispensable tools when it comes to digging into the ground or transferring materials such as soil, sand, or gravel. Lower quality shovel and spade heads are stamped out of steel, whereas the best quality ones are constructed from one piece of forged steel. The head of a shovel or spade consists of a blade and a socket. The socket fits over the shaft, the part you hold. These heads are forged from a single piece of steel, far stronger than those made of a welded together socket and blade. It all begins in the factory's foundry, where workers heat planks of steel about two centimeters thick to 1100 degrees Celsius. A massive press then cuts the planks into T-shaped pieces. Each piece will become a head. The vertical part of the T will form the socket, the horizontal part, the blade. The next press, with a couple of strikes, forms a neck, the starting point for the socket. They spread out the neck between giant rollers, flattening and thinning the steel in the process. Then they lay the neck in a stamping press, which chops off the excess metal. Next, they finalize the socket shape. The first strike simultaneously curves it into a U-shape and punches a rivet hole. The next turns the ends around to form a rudimentary circle. Then, repeated strikes round out the circle, perfecting it. Work begins on the other end of the T-piece. Rollers spread and flatten it, forming the rough shape of the blade. A press stamps the precise contour. Another then forms the required angles, finalizing the blade shape. The repeated heating, reheating and forming renders the steel brittle and weak. That's why the next step, heat treatment, is critical. First, they heat the head to 1100 degrees Celsius at a very specific rate over a period of about 90 seconds. Then they submerge it in cool water for about 30 seconds. This heating and quenching, as it's called, rearranges the molecular composition, strengthening the steel. Next step, a coat of paint. Either clear, allowing the natural color to show through, or traditional green or gray. They bake the paint for about five minutes to make it ultra durable. The shovel's shaft is made of ash, a particularly strong type of wood. They take a cylindrical piece and saw a 20 centimeter slot down one end, then widen the slot a bit. They sit that slotted end in boiling water for three minutes to soften up the wood just enough to make it pliable. Then they line it up with a horseshoe shaped clamp. A hydraulic ram then pushes the shaft forward, spreading each side of the slot around the clamp. They move the shaft in this clamped state to a slightly heated chamber for a couple of days to dry out, after which the wood assumes this shape permanently. After putting a rivet through the bottom of the split to prevent further splitting down the length of the shaft, they sand the wood to smooth it out, taper the end that will go into the socket, mount a riveted handle grip, then do a final overall sanding. The shaft now goes to the assembly shop, where they put it in a press and mate it with the head. Then they secure it with a rivet through the rivet hole in the socket. The next operation is called linishing. Using a coarse sanding belt, they wear down the wood where it meets the metal, making a smooth transition between the two materials. At the same time, they smooth down the edge of the rivet. Next, they dip the shaft in wood stain. This brings out the beautiful grain. Once the stain dries, they apply a protective coat of varnish. Other models have a metal handle on a wooden shaft or a nylon handle on a fiberglass shaft. Different designs with the same purpose. 
to get the job done.